by the Indian American community. That's another thing that most people don't know. So, I'm sitting there, a lot of people are thinking she can't win, it's not going to happen, you know, no one's returning my calls, that kind of thing. Phone rings, the phone rings, I pick it up, it's a guy named um, um, Sunil Ag and Sunil says, I saw that you won the primary, I want to help you, I think you can win. He says, I represent, I come from the Indian American community. I'm thinking, great. He goes, when can we meet? So I'm going to his office thinking that I'm going to go meet with, blah, 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 right? Because he said Indian American. And I go in there, and it was great. It was just great because he said, I want to get my community involved. Involved. And that was the first time that we saw the Indian American community really come to the fight in a great way. We were thrilled by it. Yeah. So, what have we done since? I talked about the old guard. The old guard of your community was with us. I'm excited to see the new guard. The new guard, the vanguard, the people coming in to run for office, the people coming to help us run campaigns, and especially here, as you know, in Orange County, it's exciting to see. So people say, well, what, what, what do you work on? Well, if those people know, I work on nuclear proliferation and non-proliferation. A very big deal in the Congress and around the world, and a very big deal, for example, with respect to India. So I spend a lot of time going there. The last time I went there, I went to talk about philanthropy. I talked with Mr. Tata at a meeting with some Europeans and myself to talk about how we turn around things in a global direction. And that was pretty exciting. I went to visit a hospital there, if you can imagine, that was started by an Indian American in Miami who's a cardiologist who's now put two hospitals outside of the New Delhi arena. And there is not one piece of paper in that hospital. Not one. I mean, I was afraid to go to the restroom. There's not one piece of paper in that hospital. Nothing. Everything is electronic. It is state of the art. It is amazing to watch. And here's what's very exciting about it. He said when he was a cardiologist in Miami, that maybe there were six uh, open heart surgeries happening in Miami that day in his hospital. He said in his hospital every day, he has 60 open heart surgeries happening. That means that the end, the sample point that he has every day is significantly higher and the kind of data that we can get to further medicine is happening in India. Lastly, let me tell you one of the things that we have worked very hard on, and that is to increase the number of our graduate students who are here and to allow them, once they have taken their PhDs here, foreigners in their PhD programs, we have a bill up that is called Startup 2.0, and it speaks to entrepreneurs who come from other countries in STEM initiatives, get their graduate degrees, and then stay here to build businesses in California and the United States. And that is a bill that I authored and sits in the Congress waiting to be passed when we pass a comprehensive immigration reform bill that includes our startup to So, we're, we're excited to have you all here today to my hometown of Anaheim, California. We're excited as Democrats in Orange County to invite all the Democrats up and down the state to come and help us turn this county, the last red county, to blue for us. Oh, and lastly, we're running for the United States Senate. We'll hope you'll be with us in that fight because we can take all that we've learned for 19 years in the House and bring it straight over to the Senate and start on one day fighting for the issues that we all care about. Thank you, everybody.
Thank you so much, Congresswoman. Uh, Ash, could you join us up here? Yeah. And if we need more space.